Uh, yeah, let's start with that one. How about this? We don't know. I don't know how much time we have, so I'll move forward, and if we have time, we'll go backwards. Right? Is that a good? Is that a good strategy? I didn't say Sien was winning Seam. I said Kazunoko. And Kazunoko went 0 and 2. Kazunoko had a good. He had a good matchup too. I'm surprised. I feel like he didn't play well. My predictions are the worst. Well. I don't know. Sometimes they're right and sometimes they're wrong. You know, it's it's very difficult to predict consistently, right? And the problem is, is like, so here's how here's how I think about predictions. Like, let's say mathematically, let's say that like, all right, let's say Knuckle Dew versus Shao Hai. Let's say let's talk about Knuckle Dew versus Shao Hai. Let's say that you know previously Knuckle Dew beat Shao Hai every time they played, right? So if you predict that Knuckle Dew will beat Shao Hai because the math shows that he always does, and then Shao Hai wins, is it a bad prediction? That's my question. Is that a bad prediction because you trusted the math and the data? Logically, you know enough to know that choosing Knuckle Dew was the right choice. It was the logical choice, and you know it shows you that it's mathematically the best choice. But, you know, somehow... Uh, what's it called? He ended up winning, right? Uh, Xiao Hai ended up winning. Does that prediction be then become a bad prediction because in a like he won, or is it still the right prediction? You know, it's hard. It's hard to decide if the prediction is good or not. I only thought about this because I was talking to someone about predictions and I was telling them that I hated making predictions because whether you're right or not will always determine what people think, right? And so, yeah, and people, it's its just really complicated, right? That is so little data. There's a lot of data on there, right? It's just, it's hard. So it's good bet, bad prediction. But is it a bad prediction if you predict what's like 90% supposed to happen and it's wrong? You know, it's hard to say. I don't know. I don't like making predictions, though. What I like to do is... Uh, talk about especially on commentary. I don't like making predictions uh, even if I'm like doing an analyst uh, situations uh, I don't like making predictions. I like telling who has the statistic like who has the advantage for a number of reasons like in a set like this I would probably give Tokido the advantage uh, not only just because of player strength right obviously Tokido is really strong, but I think he has like some of the most experience in the world and I also think that uh, this matchup is not that bad for Akuma and many Ibuki players will not know the Akuma matchup to the level that he knows the Ibuki matchup right because if you think about Akuma where can you learn to fight against Akuma at the highest level uh, except Tokido he's like a pioneer right no one else is playing Akuma at the same level as um, Tokido. It's very interesting. So practicing against anybody else feels almost like futile, right? I mean, you have to try to figure out the answers to a question that only he knows. It's really interesting. No, I thought it was an interesting uh, an interesting thing to bring up, MJ fan. Not everything's so black and white. That's a topic that I was thinking about yesterday after I made my predictions. Right? How do you prepare for someone who is above every other person that you could play with to prepare for them, you know? Uh, how come he didn't hit confirm into Ryda? What do I think about Juno, Obama, and Z's commentary? I'm, uh, I'm happy about them doing commentary because I think that for a long time, you guys probably remember that in Asia, it was sort of like just... It was like random, right? Just like whoever was there jumped on the mic. And sometimes it was cool because, you know, Z was there or someone else was there. And then other times it was just like, who was it? It's just like, I don't know. Whoever would jump on that was available. But it's cool to have consistent people on the mic. Yeah, cameraman and Z would just do everything. And they would commentate for like 30 hours straight. And it sucked, right? But now uh, there is like a consistent rotation of commentators. Um... I think that all of them are really funny, and they know a lot of the lore about the players. I wish they knew more about the game sometimes, um, but that's probably just because 
That's what I care about. I think everybody else probably wouldn't care about that so much, so they would really like it. Oh, yeah, I love Shen's commentary. It's very good. <laughs> what do I think about Logan, Z, and Steve wasting money on clothes that look whack? Look, I... <laughs> They can spend their money on whatever they want. <laughs> what, what's my most played fighting game these days? That was a great answer here. Man, Ibuki is such a strong character, right? There's very few characters that could do this. Side switch anti-air to regain corner into hard knockdown. Nice air throw. Jesus Christ. Hachikawa is so good, man. Uh, my most played fighting game these days is probably I don't know actually I don't know if it's Marvel or Injustice I don't know what it is actually I've been playing everything good jump takes the target combo huh he didn't want the knockdown that was really smart did you see that dash under dash under is pretty smart it's not easy to anti-air uh, this character consistently. Nice hit confirm. Or block confirm, I guess I should say. It's not easy to consistently anti-air either of these characters. No anti-air there, though. I haven't tried out Raiden yet, no. He's not going to be legal for anything, so... I don't know. I haven't been interested in him. Good walk under. Damn! That was really crazy. This is really hard to do. Anybody who's ever played a fighting game will understand that in this moment, not doing anything as a defender is really hard. Oil King shorts. I wish they were shorter. That's my thought. Uh, Raiden's so new that he's not legal in anything. Just wow, reversal uppercut was not a bad choice. He had so many. He had so much advantage, right? Good block. Can he confirm off the bomb explosion here, though? Yeah, that's what I was worried about, right? That's what, that's what I was afraid of, is that the bomb conversion would actually mess up the punish here, right? What he should have done is dash up he, and then release. Yeah, he should have done dash up, release, fierce, Ryder. He's not dead. Oh, he tried something. Maybe jump away. I don't know what it was. Back dash? He, didn't, he maybe thought it was a demon flip throw. No, I think he did expect the bomb to hit. It's just whatever he tried wasn't the proper juggle. Because you had to know that that bomb was going to go off, right? Oh, that was a good juggle. So you don't get the normal juggle always when the when the kunai hits like this, right? When the kunai hits, only the air hit and the explosion's not going to hit. So that was good recognition. He gets the knockdown. Counter hit confirm. Plus a billion. Yeah, stun. Take the kunai. What does he do for combo choice here? Yeah, side switch. Ah. So he probably was going to do like the jump over CN release. Left, right. Yeah. Straight up. That's straight up set play. You have to guess. Uh oh. Block confirmed. Look at how consistently he does that, right? This is actually the highest level of Ibuki. You have to do this like every time. Right, you have to do this every time. Jam, strong, and if it's blocked, you do light kick, and if it hits, you do fierce. It's really hard to do. That's a That was a punish on the view reversal. Not intentionally, but... Also, I think that this was a mistake. Why did he do light punch Raida? Look at the damage. Oh, whoops. Look at the damage. It was so close. Oh, he baited. Yeah, that was 50-50. The worst time, the thing about Street Fighter is the hardest time to decide whether to tech or throw or not is not when you have this much life. It's when you have that much life. And whether you tech it or not will kill you is the worst time. That's actually the hardest time to defend. Could have done EX, right? That's what I was thinking, Uncle Roger. I was thinking about EX, but I don't know. Maybe he didn't trust it. Light Punch Rider was the safe choice, so that's probably why he went for it. It's the consistent choice. Probably the best choice, actually, I guess. Hit confirm, man. You got to have those. And this is new in this season, right? She, she didn't used to be able to do this. 
<laughs> Did you ask this down short? She didn't get used to get the meaty down short standing short. Is that you commentating with Z? Did you just ask if I'm Gina? All white people sound the same, huh? Next, you're gonna think I'm I'm Ultra David. <laughs> Plus eight, yeah. Grounded hit, DM flip throw, throw for stun. This is one of the worst. This, I actually don't like quick rising this this uh, knockdown. DM flip throw, I don't think it's a smart idea to quick rise. I do think it is a smart idea to talk shit on Tan Man for saying that white people can't handle spicy. Thanks very much for the nine months. I think that quick rising this is bad because you have to immediately guess on a mix up that's super fast. I think that it's better to late rise it, but you know. Is Gina's voice nasally? I can't tell. <clears throat> my voice is nasally because my nose is broken. There's not much I can do about it. Good block in the front. Yeah, he knew. That was the demon flip throw OS. Right, this is. Uh, maybe he even did this on purpose to beat it, but Tokido has an option select that will do a uh, demon flip, an EX demon flip, uh, if you don't try to throw him. And if you do try to throw him, he'll tech it. Uh, but it gets stuffed off the ground there, which isn't a big deal to get hit airborne. Damn. This is brutal. He's got to go for a mix-up here, though. Overhead, yeah. That's brutal. What, what can you do, right? That mix-up... Is really bad because throws you can't throw tech OS anymore. The overhead is much stronger for Ibuki. That was a big buff for her. <clears throat> nice answer here. Damn, that move hits so high in the air. Nice throw too. You gotta. He, he was consistently going for a medium kick here, but you have to check with something else. He is negative here, so you have to throw him sometimes. Good work, man. Tachikawa's anti-airs have been very impressive this game so far. And it's not easy to anti-air Akuma because he has so many options, right? That was a good check, too. He knew that the at that range, he didn't have to deal with the grounded or the air, so he just went for the kunai check. Yeah, he expected uppercut there. Anti-air again, yeah. Oh, double side switch so that he could keep the corner. Tachikawa is really, really good, man. He's running out of a uh, kunai though. He has to be careful. Take the knockdown. He can threaten the demon. Yep, that's why he was holding up. That's the problem with demon, right? The threat of demon makes people jump, right? The threat of demon will make him jump here. You don't know what he's gonna do. This isn't actually a demon setup, so I don't know why he jumped, but he was so scared. That's always a threat. The threat of demon makes you jump, and when you jump, you get hit by the grounded meaties and do even more damage. <clears throat> it's brutal. What is that two-part emote? That Ultra David emote. I haven't even seen that yet. Uh, I don't know. He got meaty right away with it. So he probably just held up expecting demon, not really paying attention to the setup. Punish the landing frames on the fireball. Good, 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 good. Don't let him dash forward in your face like that. You you have to constantly check stuff like that. See, even that, he had another anti-air lined up, right? Jump forward, air throw. He's just waiting for the jump here, and it missed, which means that Tokido will get a little bit of a punish, but... Stunned. Brutal. He might actually be dead. What can you do there, right? What can you do besides thanks Sage Mode Matt for subscribing with a 499 sub and get pieced out as Tachikawa? What is there to do? Hit confirm. You see how late he cancels that? Look at this. Look at how late he hit confirms this. Boom. Then the cancel, right? 
always gone to that, that low light punch into the EX. There it is, neutral jump. That's a good choice. Neutral jump is strong against both of them because they have similar air approach, right? Where she jumps and throws the kunai downward. So neutral jumping and staying up here is really good. And then same thing with Akuma. If he jumps and throws air fireball, if you jump up here and you neutral jump, you can land on top of his landing, right? So it's it's a good idea. He ended with V-Skill just because he knew it was going to kill in that situation. But EX Dragon Punch, I mean, he didn't need to spend bar to do anything, right? And regular Dragon Punch doesn't hit full times in a lot of weird juggles, and sometimes you can't use it, so it depends. Well, Backdash Command Dash. Uh, is he going to take the damage? Yeah, very, very good choice. Oftentimes, you expect him to go for the hard knockdown setup here, but when you see this kind of life, you know that you can kill with the normal BNB, &B, right? Because you get both of the fireballs and the juggled uppercut at the end. Even if that doesn't kill, you get a setup, so. Yeah, Tokido, man. This guy is really good. It's like... Oh, damn, he's looking at the notes? Jeez. It's like he is the only one playing Akuma at this level. And so, when you try to study this character, it's very hard to look anywhere else. And so, if you don't train with him, I don't know how you could be prepared for him. I feel like it'd be very difficult. Blanc is a bitch-ass character, but I wish he was in the game. He's had a lot of good jump-ins. Wow, he caught him really, really late with a jump short. Oh, no. Oh, uh, he wanted that to go. Yeah, obviously that just went the wrong direction. The cancel in the beginning of the EX uppercut. What? How many times did it hit? Did it only hit once? Or did it hit more than once? I didn't see how many times it hit. It needs to hit twice, right? Yeah, Momochi tried Bison and lost. That's because Ken is not an easy matchup. Yeah, crush him. Don't even let him get the rest of the uppercut out. Ah, oh, that's a universal choice, right? Not a bad idea. It doesn't. You don't have to guess the left or right. Tokido's anti-airs are a little bit more suspect generally because uh, he is so focused on the ground. He's so hyper-focused on ground game and hit confirming and all this other stuff that he misses anti-air DPs a lot. I don't know. I think the character roster in this game is cool right now. Although I would obviously like next season to be a bunch of cool returning characters, and I think it'll be great. I like a lot of the new characters that they've released. Not Abigail, that's for sure. Oh, teleport. Yeah, that, I'm surprised that actually wasn't a punish. <laughs> Got him. He's probably dead, right? Oh no! Activate. All right. Oh no, he messed up. Demon. Oh, that was a. You're dead. You're dead. You are dead as fried chicken. He knows it. You're dead, bro. You are dead. Nah, you're dead, bro. Come on. This is over. Tokido already won. You're dead, bro. Man, we talked about uh, Cammy's version of this yesterday. I hate moves like this, man. This, These roundhouses that are crush counters and that recover instantly, they're so good. Oh, no. That's brutal. That's a lot of stun. Yeah, that, that view reversal makes sense. I'm surprised there was no parry from him. Oh! Okay. EX Red Fireball, take the advantage. Nice answer. Jesus, he's so prepared. It's actually very impressive to like be ready for the jump and just command dash it on reaction. That's really good. Demon flip slide. Yeah. Oh, he tried to anti air back fierce there, right? This is an input error that happens with Akuma a lot. So as he's jumping over here, uh, Tokido is holding backwards. So he's holding back. He's pulling this direction. Then he moves the joystick around 
this direction over here to back this way, right? Because he, he jumped over him. And then he tries to hit Fierce, the anti-air, back Fierce. So he does a half circle input, and so he gets red fireball, right? That's why that happens. That happens a lot with Akuma. Good choice, too. The jumping out of the corner was was very smart. He used to do the same thing with Ryu, right? Jump uh, Tatsu to escape. Back throw, yeah. It gets you the most meter. Safest choice. You get that all the time with Akuma? Yeah, when people jump over your, your side switch, it happens a lot. Hit confirm. Take the jump. All right, there's the snipe. He just wants the mix-up. Oh, it was in the front, and it was sort of... It was mistimed. That's a weak mix-up. Damn, he landed with down medium punch? What a crazy, crazy guy. That was ambiguous as all hell. I don't know how he blocked it. He tried to jump to escape. Man, Tachikawa is just... He's just forcing these mix-ups. I like his choices a lot. Yeah, good snipe, because... Most Akuma players will default to this, right? In a panic, they're going to throw a fireball and activate V-Trigger. So if you hit him on the startup, you might as well just take the kill. Put Rufus in SF5. It's going to ban that guy. I never want to see that fucking character again. Damn, the helmet gives him plus 8 to defense. Damn, I don't like Demon. I guess actually, if you have, if it's in that position, Quick Rising not that bad. Jesus, that was a risk. He could have crushed. He would have killed him actually if he got hit. If he didn't get hit by that. Demon flip on wake up. Yeah, it's, it's such a good move, man. And also he's option selecting it, so it also will escape the corner. No, where was the ride? Oh God, dash through. Yeah, of course. Oh man. Double dash through, great block. Fly, get him! Don't let him fly! Oh shit! Oh, the slide. I thought he was gonna uppercut. So did Tokido. Oh, that was a good idea! Fuck! Throw, yeah, of course. This whole bat end series is really, really wild. Let's start back here. So he misses the Raida. He throws the bomb. He backdashes, and then the common mix-up from Ibuki players here is to land and just to command dash through. And that's what he tries, right? So that he can make it a cross-up. But Tokido teleported. So that's going to be a punish. And he punishes with Fierce, which is great. He's going to get second bomb here. He wants double side switch. Tokido has seen that one before. Right? Here, he sees that he was going to get punished, so he tries to float to de delay it, which he does. And that actually allows him to escape the corner. He tried to throw bait there. Which would have probably led to near death. The slide. He waited here for the uppercut. You can see that there's a slight delay before the back throw. Right? Where he ducks. Just in case there's uppercut. And then he back throws. Right? That, that's being safe. EX Rida was a great idea. But he just did it too high. And then take the throw on the negative frames. Yeah. That was a great set. He was super close. I know they revealed Embushin. We watched the trailer earlier. He looks tight. He's got a lot of guys, uh, different command uh, or uh, target combos and stuff. He's got a lot of them. Damn, Tokido's like, damn, you're pretty good. You get, you're pretty good, kid. Maybe one day you'll be on my level. Holsters, holsters the stick and walks away. Damn, it just ends like that. 